Hey everyone, my name is Hughes, that's G U U S, and I'm sure that even if you're not a fanatic runner like me, you are familiar with the following video. You're saying it was really good out? It's the perfect texture for running, very low impact on its dry snow so your feet don't get wet. At least we can control, you know, at worst case, we can just slide right through a stop sign and we'll be okay because we're pretty visible at night. Go ahead and keep on the run. I'm sorry to have kept you, but I appreciate you guys talking thanks. with us. Stay warm. All right, thanks. So we've seen a lot of people out here, like you said, running, sledding, just enjoying it. One thing, oops, that can happen, unfortunately. Looks like Chelsea's okay. You okay? Yes, okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I can only think about the video. I didn't have a warning that this would be mentioned. <laughs> and as hilarious as that video might be... <laughs> and as hilarious as that video might be, there's also a big truth in it, in that running in the snow is amazing. You're not convinced? Let me give you five reasons why that is actually the case. Starting off with the first one, obviously, and that is that it's beautiful. Snow is amazing, especially in these dark winters in Sweden here or anywhere else around the world where you have these uh, shorter days in the winter. Snow just introduces this new brightness, even if it's dark outside because of the street lamps or whatever uh, reflecting on it. There's just more light and more brightness out there which is amazing and it can really help to motivate you go out there. Also, something else is that all the parks and forests and cities you're familiar with, they get this new look when there's snow in them. So even if you're bored of the park that you normally run in, go out there in snow because there's just something refreshing about the look of snow, the feel of snow that you really only get a couple of days a year. So that's my first point, moving on to point number two, and that is that snow creates a soft surface for you to run on. And if you are somebody who normally runs uh, on a track or in the forest because the surface is much softer there, then snow is perfect for you. You can finally go and run in the city because the snow will give the surface that's normally hard to so think asphalt or even sidewalks, you, it will create this layer on top of it that's much softer. Now, of course, you do want to be a little bit careful here because there are some roots or rocks or maybe ice that you don't want to trip over or slip on. So be careful about that. But for the rest, this softer surface, it's much better for the body. And if it did freeze before and there might be ice on the path that you normally run on, if it snowed enough, then the snow will actually cover this ice and it's safe to run on again. Just be careful that you don't go through the snow and then still land on the ice and slip because then you get uh, those happenings like in the video I showed you. Moving on to point number three and that is the fact that snow cleans your running shoes so you don't have to wash them yourself. Just wear them, go out into the snow and especially if the snow is wet it's gonna clean your shoes. I can show it to you right here. So I have this shoe right here, which I've worn for a couple of my snow runs now. I will also show you what it looked like before and then a little bit of an after. As I said, especially if it is a wet snow, it's gonna clean extra well. Right now out here, it is still dry snow. So it's gonna take a couple of runs to get the result that you would normally get with wet snow. And if it is wet snow, something that I should point out is wear a couple of layers of socks because of course wet snow is gonna get your feet much wetter than dry snow. Something else to pay attention to, of course, if you do go out for runs in snow, maybe uh, wear an extra layer, you can always take it off. Make sure you wear gloves, hats, extra socks. And if you are, for instance, going by cars to somewhere, then doing your run and then intending to drive back, maybe even take some extra spare clothes so you can change in case your, sh your clothes get too wet. Another amazing advantage of snow and point number four is free mileage. And just a little bit of a tangent, but I think it's so weird how in Europe we use kilometers, but then we still say mileage. Shouldn't we say like kilometrage? Whatever, I digress. But running on snow, it's not gonna wear your shoes as quickly, especially the outsoles and um, also the foam itself is not gonna wear as quickly because of the softer surface and uh, the fact that you're running in snow, so there's not as much grip uh, on the road for the outsoles to wear. So you can run extra 
on the shoes that you have and you don't have to replace them as quickly, which is an amazing advantage. And then it's time for advantage number five. <laughs> and that is that snow is a great argument to run slower. It's just true, especially if there's a lot of snow out there. Don't blame yourself if you are running slower because it is going to be either slipperier or you're going to have to lift your feet much more uh, in order to move forward. And as a result, you are going to run slower. And together with the fact that you are allowed to run slower, you also get more bragging points because a lot of people are not going to go out there in the snow. And you just did because of all these reasons that I just showed you. And that's a great story to share with people, to post to social media and just let other people see that you're out there enjoying the snow. Mm. One more thing to pay attention to is that you should make sure you plan your run properly when going out into the snow. Make sure that you don't run too much because as I already said, it might take longer if there's a lot of snow or if it's a little more slippery. And you also don't want to get too cold too quickly and then have to run back. Of course, running back is easier because you can just follow your footsteps back to uh, wherever you started. But still, make sure you plan your run properly. Maybe don't go as far as you would normally go. Make sure you wear enough clothes and just also be careful out there. It's beautiful, but it can also be a little slippery or uh, some roots and rocks can be hidden if you're running in the forest. But that's it for this video. I hope, I hope I managed to convince you to head out there. Be careful, but most importantly, have a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. In case you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you have any more tips or you just want to leave anything down below, the comments are open. It sounds like they've just started working next door. So be sure to stick around by subscribing to my YouTube channel. I got to wrap up this video. You just keep on rolling and you'll see me again in the next one. Bye-bye.